So, J. Plu, talk to us about Sharp. You know, I'd say I have a love-hate relationship with Sharp. Um, so this place will always have a special place in my heart. But um, as, as we know, most of my friends live in Monroe, which has created some uh, challenges that I've had to overcome. Uh, you know, if I'm going over to, ready to go out for a night on, on the town, you know, I'm, I'm excited and the walk kind of energizes me. You know, I feel the fresh air. I see other people getting ready to go out and it, it, it's, it's, it's nice. Um, but other times, you know, if I'm especially coming back from Monroe, um, it's, it's a little lonely, it's a little tiring. So, would you say that Sharp is objectively more gloomy and sad and like feels more like a prison than Monroe? Yes. So, Jack Weber, talk to us about the benefits, lifestyle, and overall feeling of living in Monroe as a freshman. Well, I think uh, the benefits are, are great, they're abundant, they're, they're clear, they're out there. You know, from the lighting in the bathroom, which just creates such a warm and vibrant feeling every step of the way, to, to just the overall architecture and just the great community feeling that Monroe brings me, uh, there, there's just n not much that I could ask for. It's just, it's, it's already here. I would say that Monroe is the best freshman dorm. You have beautiful views of the city, of campus. You could see, you could people watch. You could do whatever you want. All my best friends live on Monroe 7, on the floor. We have a calm room. We have everything that you need. So, Weber, have you ever been to, um, to Shark before? Um, I, I have, once or twice. And... I, it's not a pleasing experience. Sharp is a shithole. It's, it's definitely more gloomy and prison-like than Monroe. 